What's up everyone? Kevin O here. Just finished a workout. It was actually my first deadlift in four weeks, I think. Four weeks tomorrow. Today's a Thursday. Last time I deadlifted was a Friday four weeks ago. So um shoulder is feeling a bit better. Definitely not like a hundred percent or anything. Um once I stopped using it altogether, basically the first week after I decided to pull out of the US Open and leave my shoulder alone basically, let it actually recover. That first week I did absolutely nothing with it. No stretching, no mobility, obviously no training. Um, it took about a week to 10 days for pain to completely go away, which is a great sign. That's way sooner than I would have thought, so that's fucking actually awesome. Um, <clears throat> and then since then, the pain went away but it was just really tight still. Since then, it's just been getting looser, a little looser every day, and feeling a little stronger every day. So, once the pain went away, I actually started stretching again, doing mobility so I can start working on strengthening it, basically, but still no weight. Um, so today was the actual first day I was pulling. Normally, with my shoulder issue, because I have two issues kind of going on, right? The first is the bicep tendon, where it connects in the shoulder in the front is a huge issue. It was probably on the verge of tearing. The second is my external rotation is really bad because I have an impingement in the front and my shoulder is kind of, um, what's the word? It's kind of pinned forward. So I can't externally rotate it as much as I'm supposed to, which is where a lot of issues come from. So when I deadlift, that's, uh, that's an exercise where you're doing a lot of weight, obviously, on your body, where you really need to be externally rotating so you can get your shoulder into the proper position. Because my shoulder's tight, and I can't externally rotate as much as I need to for my shoulder to be in the proper position, that's why deadlifting can be a major issue. Now, the good news was today, I was able to rotate it way more than usual. That's the best it's felt in a while. Um, I went up to 700. I wasn't gonna go any heavier than that. Obviously 700 wasn't hard, but um, there's just absolutely no need to go heavier. Um, my shoulder's better, but it's definitely nowhere near 100% or anything like that. I didn't feel any pain deadlifting, which is a huge sign. So my external rotation has gotten better. It's, my shoulder's the loosest it's been in a long time, so that's good. But the front definitely is not very strong yet. Um, so yes, I can pull, although I'm not going to put a lot of effort into pulling just yet. I wanna put a lot more effort into my actual external rotation and into bracing so I can try to get the rear or my rear delt, you know, I could try to get a lot more stable. Um, pressing is gonna take a little longer. I'm probably not gonna press for another three, four weeks because I really want my shoulder to feel way closer to 100% before I start pressing, so. That's where that's at. Um, but it's progressing way quicker than I thought. I, it's, I'm it's. i definitely happy with that. I definitely think I'll be able to do the tribute meet, which is now in 15 weeks. Um, yeah, I thought this recovery was gonna take a lot longer. It's coming along quicker than I expected, that's for sure. So that's good. I think I'll be benching in like three, four, probably a month. I'm gonna air more on the side of caution with it so I'm gonna take longer than necessary even when David um, my physical therapist even when he says I'm good to bench I'll probably still take another week or two after that point I really wanted to get 100% so that'll still give me like what 12 weeks which is fine for a comp prep so that's really good news I'm happy with how things are right now um, and besides my shoulder, everything else feels fine. So that's good. No knee issues right now, no hip issues. My hips were starting to get a little tight, which is why I decided to do sumo, because when I don't do sumo for a while, my hips just start getting fucking tight. They get weak, it's, I gotta do it basically. Nothing else works. No amount of mobility or anything like that, which I still do obviously, but no amount of mobility or anything will kind of keep me loose enough like I just have to sumo it's just how it is I don't fight it I just do it <laughs> I don't ask too many questions about it it's been I've, it's been like this long enough that I know 
sumo needs to be around as all you know very often for me it needs to be in a rotation i need to be doing it it helps with my mobility substantially so good day roll um i did the sumos i did three singles at 700 which moved pretty well beltless um then i did good morning squats so it's closer to a good morning than squat but i still kind of he was like a little leg drive but mainly i mean compared to a regular good morning a regular good morning to be more back whereas what i'm doing is more hamstring and glute um but the way i do it's like i'm just sticking my butt back 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 and it's really stretching my hamstrings and glutes as i go down so that it really loads it loads them up very well so obviously that's a very posterior chain dominant movement which is what i was working today and then i did um some static rows because i don't want to row heavy yet because of the shoulders still i have an issue where because my bicep also is fairly tight which has been getting better as well but because it's fairly tight as well when i try to do rows i get really bad bicep pumps like right away and it just makes it where i can't effectively do the exercise so what i'm doing instead is doing a lightweight but doing like 15 20 second holds at walkout which felt fine today i got a slight bicep pump but it wasn't bad but my back was really pumped so that was good i'm gonna stick with them not necessarily on the t-bar but just on any machines i'm gonna be doing those for a while which at the same time should help with you know kind of getting the back of my shoulder and my lats more stable that's why i'm doing those um and then i was gonna do more i was gonna do calves and i was gonna do some more hamstrings but i ended up getting into like a business discussion for like probably 30 to 45 minutes so it happens no big deal and then i did like what i do like 20 minutes of cardio and now i'm in my car the new whip i fucking love my camaro i just have to say it's fucking awesome but yeah as far as my diet i'm down i was um i was like 253 pounds a couple of weeks ago that's the last i remember before i started dieting i was i woke up 253 today i woke up 236 so my weight is definitely down substantially which is good my calories are very low at the moment lower than you would have your calories for performance so i'm definitely in a pretty deep diet it's not the type of thing where how do I explain it? I'm below where I would be if I was worried about performing right now, but I'm not. I'm not worried about being at max strength or anything like that right now. I'm mainly just leaning out. So my calories are very low right now. I'm gonna keep them low for another two weeks or so probably. Then I'm gonna bring them up to a more normal diet where I can still perform. They're not gonna be as high as they were before because honestly, I was just getting way too bloated and it was unnecessary. So I've been cleaning up my diet. Uh, my girlfriend's helping me, Melissa. She does have a nutrition background. It's not what she does professionally, but it's kind of more just a hobby for her. It's more just something that she's good at and she enjoys doing. But um, yeah, it's going well. I'm focusing on mainly just cleaning up my diet as well as it being a little more anti-inflammatory so i'm just not so bloated and inflamed so i cut out cheese i cut out most dairy in terms of dairy all i'm having is fair life if you guys are familiar with it but it's like lactose free um no more of the uh the uh meat lasagna <laughs> no more of those no more soda i cut soda out completely only like diet obviously which is like no sugar um yeah, I've just been, I've been eating much cleaner, so I'm sticking with that. Although my calories will be higher, they're definitely not going to be as high as they were before, and they're not going to be as dirty as they were before because I think that's causing a lot of issues for me later in my in my meat preps where I'm just really bloated, and that's when things start feeling terrible. That's when deadlift days start getting miserable with the back pumps. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be running a little leaner. Um, I don't plan on losing much more weight. I may get to the low 230s, but once meat prep starts, I would expect to bounce back up into the 240s pretty quick. So, that's where I'm at. Um, obviously, Barbell Commission, we did a release 
two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Um, plenty of compression shorts, as well as t-shirts. Deadlift socks, crew socks, the works. Check out barbellcommissionapparel.com. That's it. <laughs> Until next time.